We thought we understood the universe. We thought we had mapped its size, its age, its boundaries. We believed there were billions of galaxies out there, more than enough to overwhelm the human mind. But then, one telescope looked deeper, and in a single moment, the universe exposed a truth it had been hiding from us. Not billions, trillions, trillions of galaxies, invisible until now. And what this discovery means is bigger than any of us were prepared for. Before we go further, hit subscribe, because what you're about to see doesn't just rewrite astronomy, it rewrites our place in the universe. For years, telescopes showed us a dark, empty sky, but astronomers always wondered, is the universe actually empty, or are our eyes just too weak to see what's really there? Then the James Webb Space Telescope opened its mirrors for the first time and pointed at the darkest patch of sky it could find. A region no bigger than a grain of sand held at arm's length. No stars, no planets, just blackness. But when Webb's infrared eyes stared deeper, galaxies poured out of the dark like sparks. Not one, not ten, but thousands packed into the tiniest sliver of space. It was a cosmic ambush, a reminder that the universe is far bigger, far older, and far stranger than we ever imagined. And if one grain of sky hides thousands of galaxies, what about the rest of the sky? We'll answer that. Stay with me. Astronomers began calculating. If a tiny grain of sky contains thousands of galaxies, then the full night sky must contain over two trillion galaxies. That number is brutal. It doesn't politely challenge your worldview. It crushes it. Two trillion galaxies, each with hundreds of billions of stars, each star with worlds, each world with mysteries. And suddenly, the question wasn't, how big is the universe? The real question became, how blind have we been until now? Because everything we used to call empty space was never empty. Our instruments were just too weak. This discovery didn't reveal more galaxies. It revealed how little our technology could see. The universe didn't grow. Our eyes finally opened. Here's the part NASA doesn't sugarcoat. Even with Webb, we're still not seeing the full universe. We can only observe light that has had time to reach us. But the universe is expanding, fast. There are galaxies whose light will never reach Earth. Galaxies permanently out of view, hidden beyond the cosmic horizon. So when scientists say two trillion galaxies, it's not a final number, it's the minimum. The universe could contain five trillion, 10 trillion, or a number so large it stops meaning anything at all. And here's the kicker, we're only talking about the visible universe. We haven't even touched the dark matter skeleton, or the empty spaces between clusters that hide primordial galaxies. If what Webb shows us is 1%, what exactly is hiding in the other 99%? This discovery cornered us into a terrifying question. If the universe has millions of planets, and billions of star systems, and trillions of galaxies, where is everyone? This is the Fermi Paradox. The universe should be overflowing with life, but it's silent. No signals, no noise, no civilizations, just the endless hum of space. Silence in a universe that massive is unnatural, because if there are trillions of galaxies, there should be countless planets where life evolved billions of years before Earth even existed. So why isn't the sky screaming with signals? Why haven't we seen another intelligent species? Why does the universe feel empty when the data says it shouldn't be? And here's the twist. This video will give you the answer, but not yet. We need one more piece. Some astronomers believe the silence is an illusion. With trillions of galaxies, it's likely that advanced civilizations are out there, but we're not listening on the right frequencies. Or their technology is so far beyond ours that we would mistake their signals for noise. Or worse, they may exist so far back in the cosmic past that by the time their light reaches us, their civilization is already extinct. Imagine an alien empire that lasted a million years and died before humans even learned to walk. Its only trace is a faint photon drifting through the darkness, invisible, unnoticed, lost. And that's assuming they even use light or radio. Advanced civilizations might communicate through physics we don't even understand yet. We can't hear them, not because they're silent, but because we're deaf. But here's where everything changes. James Webb isn't just looking at galaxies. 
It's sniffing their atmospheres, scanning their chemistry, searching for oxygen, methane, water vapor, molecules that scream, life is here. This is the first time in history we've had a tool capable of detecting life from billions of miles away. And Webb already found planets with chemical fingerprints that don't make sense. Planets with too much heat, too much carbon, too much energy. Planets that look engineered. Are they natural? Are they artificial? Are they the footprints of life? That's what this decade will decide. Because astronomy shifted from, is there life out there, to, which of these thousands of planets has it? We are not looking into space anymore. We're looking into our future. When Webb looked into the darkness and saw trillions of galaxies, it delivered a message humanity wasn't ready for. The universe is not empty. It never was. It's overflowing with stars, worlds, and ancient stories we'll never hear. We are not small. We are not insignificant. We are the first species on Earth to open the universe's curtain and actually understand what's behind it. But this is only the beginning. The next web image might find the first alien biosignature, catch the first artificial structure, or show us galaxies older than our entire solar system. And if you want to understand the discoveries that will define the next century, you need to be here for the next chapter. Subscribe now and watch the full series on our channel, because the universe just changed and the next discovery is already on the way.